What's up everybody, how you guys doing and welcome back to another what would happen episode. So I know I haven't done this for a while but I'm finally bringing it back. I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to it so let's get started. And before I start I just wanted to let you guys know thank you so much for all your support. And also these what would happen episodes are not going to be around 60 seconds because I want to get into more in depth with the topic so I hope you guys don't mind but if you do and don't want to watch it that's totally also okay alright so today's topic is what would happen tomorrow if coffee were banned so we're going to assume that this happens in the US since that's what I'm familiar with and I think other instances of prohibition would be a pretty good model. Now rich people would quickly find legal loopholes allowing them to continue using coffee without interference. During America's alcohol prohibition period it was decided that whiskey had some medicinal benefits so it could be prescribed by a doctor and filled by pharmacies. Some pharmacies had doctors on site who would diagnose their customers with conditions requiring an alcohol prescription and then fill the prescription right there. Using this strategy, Walgreens went from an obscure local pharmacy chain to an international company that's present almost 100 years later. Conversely, enforcement would focus on ethnic minorities and other unpopular social groups. In an effort to retroactively justify the practice, variants of coffee popular among these groups would be profiled as more dangerous. Café con leche would be treated much more seriously than the nearly identical café latte. Compare the discrepancy in the way various versions of cocaine are treated legally or for a lighter example, the social panic over Four Loco versus Red Bull and Vodka. With the closing of the cafes that occupy most street corners, we'd see a sudden explosion of urban blight. In some locations, with solid fundamentals, you'd just see unnecessary bank branches popping up, but you'd also see a bunch of crime concentrated around all the newly abandoned buildings like in present-day Detroit. Large sections of the population would lose all respect for the government. Also, coffee trafficking would become a huge industry given that South American cartels are already set up to smuggle drugs into the country together with the fact that most coffee originates in South America, the market for coffee would presumably be substantially larger than for say heroin or cocaine, which would push the cartels beyond anything we've seen before. Funding would be diverted from actual law enforcement just to enforce the coffee ban. Cities would build SWAT teams to raid cafes with federal anti-cafe funding while actual crimes would go ignored. Mainstream citizens would be afraid to speak about against the obvious absurdity of the situation lest they be tarred as caffeine addicts and lose their position in society. After a couple of years, the political pressure against the ban would become too great and the ban would be repealed. Much of the damage to society, however, would be irreversible. Brutal ex-coffee traffickers would still control the countries to the south. Unnecessary paramilitary style local police forces would not be scaled back We'd probably have some residuals, restrictions, like say laws against minors drinking coffee. Well there you have it guys, thank you so much for all your support and make sure to drop a like if you guys made it to the end of the video, I appreciate all your support once again, we're closing into 24,000 subscribers, thank you, thank you so much guys for watching and I will catch you guys on the next episode, take care.